Coronaviruses are a family of viruses, just like influenza is a family of viruses. There are several different types of coronavirus that commonly circulate each year, much like colds and flu do. They are a common cause of colds, and most of us have been infected with a coronavirus at some point in our life. Many of us have been to the doctor and heard them say, I think your symptoms are most likely caused by a virus. We aren't tested for every single type of virus out there, so it could have been a coronavirus. COVID-19 is a disease caused by a novel coronavirus. First of all, novel means new. Coronaviruses begin in animal populations and sometimes start causing infections in humans, which is what we are seeing now with COVID-19, which was originally referred to as 2019 novel coronavirus. It began infecting humans in Wuhan, China in December 2019. A new coronavirus is always a public health concern because they can be unpredictable since humans have no immunity. So how well the virus spreads and the severity of the disease it causes are unknown at the beginning of an outbreak and may even change during the course of an outbreak. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, or CDC for short, watches new coronaviruses very closely, gathering lots of information about how they affect the public. Coronaviruses spread from person to person much like any other respiratory illness does. When people cough or sneeze without covering their mouth and nose, the virus sprays out. We can also become infected by touching an object or surface that has the virus on it, and then by touching our eyes, nose, or mouth with unwashed hands. People who are in close contact with an infected person are also at risk of becoming infected, and healthcare workers need to wear protective gear to prevent exposure while caring for infected patients and during medical testing procedures that put them at greater risk of exposure. Let's take a moment to put your risk into perspective. Every year, influenza causes millions of cases of illness in the United States. In the 2017-2018 flu season alone, the estimated number of illnesses due to flu was 45 million. The number of deaths was over 61,000, with 633 deaths in children under the age of 18. Flu severity is unpredictable, and even healthy people can become seriously ill from the flu. But in general, the flu does not cause a lot of concern because it has become familiar and an expected part of life every year. For most people who become infected with the virus that causes COVID-19, they experience symptoms much like other respiratory illnesses, with fever, cough, and shortness of breath. These symptoms can range from mild to severe. Of the people who had severe illness and have died, they were older adults and those individuals with other underlying health conditions. There is no vaccine to prevent coronaviruses in general, and there is none for COVID-19. There is no specific treatment for coronavirus other than easing the symptoms in those who have mild illness to make them more comfortable, such as decongestants, cough suppressants, and fever-reducing medications. More serious cases of COVID-19 may require supportive care in a hospital if the patient has developed pneumonia or is having difficulty breathing. Most people who become sick with COVID-19 have a mild illness and can treat themselves at home. As with most viral illnesses, it is important to get lots of rest, use fever-reducing medications as needed, drink plenty of fluids, and try to eat healthy foods. You probably won't even need to go see the doctor, but call ahead if you have any questions about whether you should be seen. By talking to your healthcare provider ahead of time, you can have a plan in the event that you do become ill if community spread of the virus occurs in your area. You can determine together what medications you may need to have on hand, make plans for any additional supportive care, or decide at what point the doctor would actually like for you to come into the office for an exam, or at what point you should go to a hospital for medical support as needed. As with most other respiratory illnesses, the same prevention strategies apply. We want to do the basic things like cover our coughs and sneezes with tissues or our sleeve, not our hands. Why don't we want to use our hands? Because then the germs we just sneezed onto our hands get transferred to everything and every one that we touch. Also, we want to wash our hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds or use alcohol-based hand sanitizer when soap and water are not available. Please stay home when you are sick 
and avoid others who are sick. Please go to credible sources of information, such as those listed on this screen. Social media and the internet make it too easy for people to spread false information. The New Jersey Department of Health is working in conjunction with the New Jersey Poison Information and Education System to operate a public call center for people who still have questions after looking at available resources. The call center is staffed by trained healthcare professionals and is open for calls 24-7. They can also accommodate callers in multiple languages.